Hello guys, welcome to Survey Soft Help video. In this video, we are going to learn um, how to edit data in profile level and also compute and plot the profile level. So let's click on the leveling and then we click on the profile level. So we start. Now, um, this is the environment of the profile leveling and I hope you are conversant with leveling. You know the station, you know the distance, you know backside and the intermediate side, foresight and then you know your remark. So under the station, um, this is we have the benchmark and then here is a point where we choose um, our, to observe intermediate side. So this is the point. So this is a point where we take our backside. So this is our change point one. So that's why we call it CP1. Alright, so when you come to distance and we have a zero, so um, when you're starting distance, distance should start from zero and then after zero, we, we now have 10, we now have 20 and so distance should be incrementing and um, distance should not um, be the same or maybe for instance, you say here should be 20, it will report error, so let me say 20 or distance should not be more than um, the next distance it has to be incremented just in an ascending order. That's how this time is and make sure you don't leave um, empty space Make sure you fill every space as far as distance is concerned. Okay, so let's go to backside Remember the first reason you take is the backside. So as you have mounted your instrument you, you take the backside and then after the backside you don't take any reading remember so now we have our intermediate side so if you have intermediate side you can take your reading and that's why we have one here this is not a change point and then we take our reading take a second intermediate side remember when you're taking your intermediate side there will be no reading for full side and back side okay so when we now come here after the intermediate side we take our back side and then after the back side we take your full side remember after the initial back side the other back side you are taking you must make sure you fill the space for the fourth side this space should not be empty it's very important so make sure you fill it anytime you must have taken your back side that is not the initial back side so that's how it is so and when you reach at uh, the final um, point make sure you close your leveling on with your fourth side and not the back side okay so you don't make that mistake the app will always report error anytime you are closing your level with either back side or intermediate side okay this is the remark so you can write anything i just write benchmark just write a b so anything you want to write this is just a remark telling you maybe kind of description about the points you, you have you have observed okay so um the next one is we need to add um, rules so in case you want to add rules maybe this one is not enough so you can click on the add button above just the one that looks like a cross so we click on it see you see so we are adding row and then maybe we want to um, remove the row we want to remove the row so we can click um you can click on the menu beside the add button that's the remove button so we can remove we can remove the row okay so um another one i want to show you is and make sure that if you want to edit your data, maybe you want to edit your data. So when you click on the data, it will come at the input um, box and then show the the data. So simply come at the input and then you modify whatever you want to modify. So and that's how to change your your data. And then we can also play with um, undo and redo. So let's play with undo and redo. So that's that's the power of undo and redo. Returning to the previous states and then redo returning to the next state okay so um what if we want to make use of navigation navigational um arrows so we don't want to be touching the screen so we can make use of this okay so the navigational arrow so that's very when we want to go up we click on that go at the right so i'm making use of the navigation arrow and then now right now i'm going to plot but we should should you want to change your leveling method you can still go to the setting the setting icon beside the save icon we click on the setting icon so we can look at leveling method we click on level method so we want to change it to um rise and fall method uh, let's try boot method so it means boot method is both height of instrument and rise and fall um so vessel is going to display boot method okay so let's click let's see let's compute let's use the first one that's display columns you know i love to see something being organized so this one looks fantastic you see wow perfect so this is how it is this is the boat method it contains both and rise up for and also height of instrument so that's the leveling 
and this level is really accepted okay so what if a situation if you have your final benchmark maybe you're not working with open, open transverse you're working with a closed transverse and you have your final benchmark so let's try and put a final benchmark and maybe we have this as our final benchmark eight to nine okay so because once you have your final benchmark maybe there can be a misclosure whereas you need to adjust the level so let's see if it will adjust it all right so this is a level very nice fantastic it really it really it really adjusted the level okay look at it and that's a misclosure and it's really adjusted in so this is your final um reduced level let's try and plot well, we have to plot now so we click on plot okay so this is exactly or oh, let me return back let me return let me show you something when you plot maybe you can try and edit so it not necessarily means that um it must be like this so let's try and edit um something or we can call it leveling sorry so let's say leveling okay leveling leveling okay so now click now fantastic so this is how it is now and let's know the buttons um below the first one is um um on zoom that is zw zo negative we want to unzoom data and the second one is zo plus that's when you want to zoom the data and another one is um disabled but if you want to stretch the data we can click on the fourth one which is sw plus so once you click on it um the previous one will be enabled so this we are stretching the width we can return by clicking sw negative okay so we can also um reduce the we can also stretch on the vertical that's the height of 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 the plot so we can click on sh plus you see so we can return by clicking sh negative okay so if in case we want to um we want to and i want to increase the borderline so we can click on l plus negative beside sh plus so when we click it it will show us a sick bar and then on the sick bar we can play along with sick bar you can see as i'm moving it watch it um click it back and then i'll return it again okay very nice all right so we can also click on forward here so when you click here it shows us another button so this one is forward maybe you want to create space you want to create space just like you're seeing now there is a lot of space but maybe we don't want to click we don't want to create space again okay you see no more space again now when we want to create space above we can also use this one dw to create space above and then when we want to increase the the horizontal um reading then we want to increase the interval of the horizontal reading so we can click on gw plus you see we are increasing the interval of horizontal reading so we now have um only two interval that is 0 40 that's 40 intervals if you want to decrease it we, we can click on gw negative now we have 10 intervals so that's the function if you want to increase or maybe want to increase yes the vertical reading um the vertical reading that's the elevation you can click on g h plus okay so it's increasing the interval now we now have um kind of interval that is 40 yes 40 interval and then we want to return we click on gh negative okay so we now have an interval of 10 and then if we want to reset um to the default we can click on reset and it will return to the default okay so maybe you don't like um dark view you want to show a light view so you click on the visibility icon so it will show the light view and then let's save our work okay all right so let's return good that's very nice fantastic work and then i didn't mention about zooming so you can also zoom you can zoom your data wow fantastic and you return good so let's return that's all that's all i can teach about this um how to make use of leveling and then if there's any question if there's anything that you observe that maybe i've not said or anything that you are kind of confused always make sure you send your message across thank you very much for watching